Hi everyone, Mikasa Dragon here, and today I'm gonna make a video on why Dual Blade is my favorite class. So I'm at a box right now, I'm at a Manmaru. I'll just show you some skills that I like and stuff, but and then I'll go into a bit better detail once I'm done. Just to show you why I like Dual Blade so much. Main, the main reason they're fantastic at bossing, if you can get them funded enough. But that's kind of like with every class, but whatever. Go in here. I'll use Final Cut. I'll use one of my hypers. And then uh, I'll use Angelic Buster's uh, turns and conditions. Epic Adventure, oh, I run from that. And Ashura's Anger. Alright, nah, still doing that. That's like Dark Reflect, but super weak version. Oh, so I would have been dead already. But yeah, I can just destroy him so easily. If you didn't do that. But even though. Even then, I still kill him pretty fast. Dun, dun, dun. And just like that, he's dead. Too bad he doesn't give too much reward. I tried Madman, and that's just insane. So, reasons I like Dual Blade. Uh, at first, they start off slow. But, you know, it gets better once you get somewhere else, you know, and you only have this skill. And then you'll have Final Blow, which is pretty nice. Single target, and then Slash Storm. And then this is where it starts to get a bit more fun. You get a Flying Assaulter and double or what is it called? uppercut stab no upper stab and then it gets even better when you get bloody storm so this uh oh alright lag there but um they're pretty mobile in what they do and they have some skills that change which I do kind of like, about like 100% chain. You also have your single target, which Phantom Blow. You get fourth drop, you get full screen attack. It's gonna lag here a bit. Come on. I don't know why it's lagging like this. Alright. Lagging a lot for some reason. It's part of the recording. I don't know. Probably someone else here. Let's go somewhere else. Alright, and then we have Blade Fury. Eh, could be better. But it works. And then they have their way of boosting themselves up to increase their range. Their buffs are pretty good. They got Shadow Partner, Self Haste, which is not truly well, somewhat. And then um, Thorns, which gives me more attack and knockback resistance, so I don't get knocked back as much. And their Mirror target passive effect is really good. You get 60% weapon and magic defense and 25% chance to avoid an enemy's attack 25% of the time. So they're really good with uh, in lots of areas. They also have uh, abnormal status and elemental resistance. 
So, like I was saying, they have not just one way to boost their damage, they have actually two ways with their hyper. So, first one's Final Cut, it increases my damage by 60%. So, I go from 100 and let's take that buff off 180k range to. Excuse lag. Well, it doesn't show in your damage outfit, but you can see the difference going from 500k's, 600k's to almost a mil per line until you get to the child partner, which is 70% off, but this is still good. We also have a clone. I don't really use this as much as I should, but yeah. And then if you combine that with uh, Angelic Buster's burst damage and Xaurus Wrath, it's extremely good for bossing, except for when they have Dark Reflect. That can get you killed really fast. The map, Dual Blades aren't so great for mobbing, but they're really good with burst damage. So I have Final cut that lasts 60 seconds, and the cooldown is 90 seconds, so I only have to wait 30 seconds. But if you have the right character cards and buff skill duration, I have 19% for that, and I think another 15% for a card, so I think it's only about like 20 seconds I have to wait, or maybe 25, not 100% sure. And then, yeah, they're really well rounded, kind of like almost max defense and not so much of a vulnerability, but it's still pretty high 7,006.8. Um, I do really love them for bossing. They also, if you get them funded enough, they're pretty overpowered. So, skill Phantom Blow, attack 6 times, plus your Hyper, attack 7 times, plus your Shadow Partner, which is 14 times, and if you can get that, pretty high, and that, you can attack 2 times per second almost. I say it's about 0.6 seconds. For the full animation though, you can still pull two off within a second. You can do an insane amount of damage with dual blades. Yeah. I just really like my fast moving characters, so yeah. My favorite before dual blade was uh, assassins since they can throw stars, move while they attack. But uh, Dual Blade came out and I stuck with that for a long time. I did make other characters. Always wanted to play with new classes. It's always fun. Well, uh, tell me what your favorite, favorite character is. Why it's your favorite character and hope you keep enjoying Maple. Like I do. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and sorry about the lag. Alright, bye. Alright, I forgot to show you my range uh, without all my buffs. Oops. It's about close there. So it goes 154, and I'll buff up 183. So you can see it's like 600 without 600 with crit, 300 without. I can go full crit, and then uh, 
Use my hypers. I go to 200 and then pick Jala Buster's hyper. I go up that high. 270. Also helps to have boss damage. Yeah. Really good burst damage for 10 seconds. Unless Dark Reflect or uh, Council Weapon Attacks, and then that's pretty bad. Uh, we all, I also forgot to say that we get a third job skill that's really good. Uh, Shadow Meld. A uh, 30% chance to dodge upon successful dodge, plus 15 attack, and all attacks will become crit for 7 seconds. Cooldown is 5 seconds, but you can always, almost always have it. But some bosses, I haven't been able to dodge 100% of the time, so other than that, it's really good. We also get some life drain while we attack, but it's not that great. It's only 10% chance for it to work. It only kills 10% of the damage. So it can heal quite a bit, but there might be a limit to it. Chains of Hell. Eh. Oh, there is one interesting thing with Chains of Hell. You cannot die from Dark Reflect by it. For some reason, when you hit someone with Dark Reflect on, with Chains of Hell, it just hits ones. So if you want to be safe, you can just use that all the time. It is a bit slow in damage output, but it's better than being dead. Alright, and we got Venom. Meh, Venom. Well, oh, and recently we got Hero's Will, so that's pretty cool. All these hyper skills, look at all these. We should have 13 and it only fit 12, so that extra one, I don't even know what that is. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.